I remember as a kid when I used to visit Nan and Grandad, I'd be greeted with the smells of hot bread and apple pie. But these days when my children visit their Nan and Grandad, she's probably on the internet and he's looking at his favourite internet dating site. And what an impact they're having. Grandma and Grandpa don't act old anymore, at least when it comes to online behaviour. Level one is just get me the information. Here I'm sitting alone at my computer, me and the computer, and I want the information, and here's my credit card. The next level was how do I interact with other people? And we've seen this in an explosive use of online dating, rapidly moving in on Facebook and on very much on YouTube. The other thing it's doing the other way around is it's projecting the kids into their world. The same moment as I'm researching something for my parents, I'm going online to my kid's university class and seeing his grades and his essays and even his lectures. Because it's all, it's all online now. So um, everybody has a foot in multiple age groups at the same time. Never happened before. <laughs> The growing elderly population highlights a need for flexible health care. A smart home project in the United States allows monitoring by sensors. Information is gathered and accessed via an online portal. Thus, health professionals as well as family members can be involved and informed from afar. I think smart homes can potentially enhance this distant caregiving because with the technologies we have, we can actually give feedback to the remote family members in terms of how their loved one is doing. We can notify them in cases of emergency, but we can also allow them to be part of the proactive monitoring. Don't forget, however, that there are still ethical challenges that telecoms can help solve. Uh, detection of emergency is a big concern for many frail elderly, and in those cases there is less of a privacy concern. People appreciate the monitoring. I don't know, it's hard to explain. It just feels you're, you're all right. Somebody's watching you, you know? It also reminds us that we should not just look at solutions that are purely technologically driven, but rather address people's real needs. Smart homes will expand beyond the elderly to projects for safety, entertainment, planning daily activities and so on. Telecoms can be part of the service delivery for this very powerful group. Ten years from now, it should be possible for me to book my own surgery at a hospital through a service provided by, why not, by a telecom. It's clear that the family is a major demographic for the telecoms industry. Thanks for watching this episode of Telecom Report. See you next time.